Only you can decide what you want, what you want this country to be, what you want to do with the future. I think we're ready to move. JFK consistently ranks as one of the most popular presidents in U.S. history, but his life was not without scandal. Behind closed doors, he suffered from an array of medical conditions and pursued extramarital affairs, while his wider family endured untold tragedies and controversies throughout the 20th century. Now, let's present the most comprehensive and accurate list of facts about John F. Kennedy. John Fitzgerald Kennedy was born on May 29, 1917, in Brookline, Massachusetts, to Joseph Patrick Kennedy Sr. and Rose Elizabeth Kennedy. He was the second of nine children, with siblings including Senator Ted Kennedy, Senator Robert F. Kennedy, and Special Olympics founder Eunice Kennedy Shriver. Despite their initial disinterest, JFK's father encouraged him and his younger brother Robert to pursue careers in politics. JFK suffered from various illnesses throughout his childhood, including measles, chickenpox, and whooping cough. He contracted scarlet fever at the age of three, which left him with lasting health issues. To protect his political career, his medical problems were kept hidden from the public. Before attending Harvard University, JFK briefly enrolled at Princeton University but had to leave due to a gastrointestinal illness. He graduated from Harvard in 1940. Lieutenant John F. Kennedy took command of a boat on April 24, 1942. He was the third commander of the ship. The boat was cut in two by the Japanese destroyer Amagari. JFK was severely injured but managed to save a badly burned sailor. He, along with others who survived, spent several days on an island. Kennedy used a coconut shell to send a message for help. Later, he kept this shell on his desk in the Oval Office. His heroic actions during the shipwreck earned him the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps Medal. He was discharged in 1945, but during his time in the Navy, he suffered from a significant back injury that aggravated his Addison's disease. He underwent spinal fusion surgery in 1954 and dealt with extreme chronic pain for the rest of his life. Kennedy received last rites three times before his presidency, the last being in 1954 after slipping into a coma from an infection following spinal fusion surgery. To cope with Addison's disease, JFK used amphetamine injections, a common practice at that time. Both he and his wife became dependent on amphetamines by the time of his presidency. JFK married Jacqueline Lee Bouvier on September 12, 1953. Jackie took some time to accept JFK's proposal because she had been assigned to cover the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in London for the Washington Times Herald. After considering, she accepted. Despite JFK's infidelity, he and Jackie remained married for 10 years until his death. Kennedy had affairs with several women, including alleged relationships with Marilyn Monroe, Jean Tierney, and Anita Ekberg. When he was 20 years old and serving in the Navy, Kennedy began a romantic relationship with Inga Arvad, a Danish former beauty queen who later became a journalist. Before the war, Arvad was one of the few foreign reporters who managed to interview Adolf Hitler, and he was so captivated by her that she became his personal guest at the 1936 Olympic Games, sitting with him in his private box. Hitler even referred to Arvad as the ideal example of Nordic beauty. While there is no guarantee that she and Hitler ever had a relationship, the idea that both Hitler and Kennedy could have been involved with the same woman is astonishing. In addition to Caroline and John Jr., the Kennedys had two other children, a stillborn girl named Arabella in 1956 and Patrick Bouvier Kennedy, who died two days after birth in 1963. The bodies of the two children were moved from Massachusetts in 1963 to be laid to rest next to their father in Arlington National Cemetery. In 1957, JFK was awarded a Pulitzer Prize for his book Profiles in Courage, although there has been controversy over how much of it was ghostwritten by his aide Theodore Sorensen. JFK announced his candidacy for the presidency in January 1960 as a Democrat, with Lyndon B. Johnson as his running mate. He won the presidency on November 8, 1960, becoming the youngest elected president and the first Roman Catholic president. The song used by John Kennedy's campaign for the presidency was an altered version of High Hopes, with lyrics changed to support Kennedy. It was sung by the legendary Frank Sinatra. They were briefly very close friends, though it did not last. JFK faced several challenging events during his presidency, including the Cuban Missile Crisis and the Bay of Pigs invasion, which was a failed operation approved by President Kennedy in 1961. Almost 1,400 CIA-trained Cubans were used for a full-scale invasion of Cuba. 
To minimize the cost of this failure, Kennedy also approved Operation Mongoose, which was meant to destabilize the Cuban government of Fidel Castro. An interesting fact is that Kennedy was a passionate cigar smoker, often enjoying four or five cigars a day. Just before implementing the trade embargo that would prohibit the import of Cuban cigars, John F. Kennedy made a remarkable order of 1,200 of them for the White House. Between 1961 to 1963, John F. Kennedy approved the sending of tens of thousands of American soldiers to Vietnam to help the South Vietnam government in their war. JFK's decision to send troops to Vietnam was highly controversial and sparked anti-war demonstrations. During his presidency, JFK focused on civil rights and supported desegregation efforts. He was the first president to ever dance with African-American women at an inaugural ball. He also donated his entire $100,000 a year presidential salary to charity, a remarkable gesture as he was the richest man to assume office at that time, with his family fortune valued at approximately $1 billion. Additionally, he was a speed reader, capable of reading at an amazing 1,200 words per minute, while the average American adult can read about 200 to 250 words per minute. Kennedy secretly recorded conversations in the White House, similar to Nixon's later actions. The president likely installed the system to aid him in writing his future memoir, and it captured many historical discussions between Kennedy and his staff, including discussions during the Cuban Missile Crisis. One of the most tragic moments in United States history is the assassination of John F. Kennedy. He died from a gunshot to the neck and head on November 22, 1963, while he and his wife were part of a motorcade in Dallas, Texas. The car the Kennedys were in sped off to Parkland Memorial Hospital just a few minutes away. However, the damage was already done, and the beloved president had passed away. At 1 p.m., John F. Kennedy was pronounced dead. JFK's last words were addressed to Nellie Connolly, the First Lady of Texas. She remarked, Mr. President, you can't say Dallas doesn't love you. Kennedy replied, No, you certainly can't. With all the media interest, it is not surprising that countless people have been accused of being involved in the assassination. However, what is astonishing is that so many actually confessed to being a part of it. One of the most intriguing individuals claiming to have had a hand in Kennedy's murder was Charles Harrelson, the father of Hollywood actor Woody Harrelson. While serving a prison sentence for another murder, Charles confessed to the assassination multiple times, but his claims were never taken seriously. So, while Lee Harvey Oswald was identified as the assassin, many conspiracy theories persist to this day. Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested and shot dead himself while in police custody two days later by Jack Ruby. Lee Harvey Oswald's assassination is considered one of the most public murders in history due to the large number of people physically present and the live broadcasting of the event on television. Oswald was responsible for the murder and attempted murder of multiple other people, including the attempted assassination on April 10, 1963, of retired Major General Edwin Walker. He also wounded Texas Governor John Connolly in the same shooting that killed Kennedy. Jack Ruby, a Dallas nightclub owner who shot Lee Harvey Oswald, was initially sentenced to death for his crime, but this was later overturned. The moment he shot Oswald had been recorded as live television crews had been on hand to show the transfer of the president's assassin. President Lyndon Johnson established the Warren Commission to investigate the assassination, which concluded that Oswald acted alone. The president's body was buried on November 25, 1963, in Arlington National Cemetery. The funeral of JFK was attended by heads of state from over 100 countries, and millions watched the service on television. Iconic images of his family were taken at his graveside. There are hundreds of memorials to John F. Kennedy in dozens of countries around the world, and he is still considered one of America's most popular presidents. After the tragic assassination of Kennedy, the Canadian government named a newly discovered mountain in his honor. Mount Kennedy is located in the remote yet beautiful northern part of National Park, in the Yukon Territory. Robert Kennedy, the younger brother of Kennedy, who ultimately attempted to follow in his brother's path to power, became the first person to ascend Mount Kennedy as a touching tribute to his late brother. The life and legacy of John F. Kennedy are filled with triumphs, challenges, and controversies. As one of America's most popular presidents, his impact on the nation and the world continues to be felt to this day.